Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2020 action science fiction film Jiu Jitsu, a film that is directed by Dimitri Longothetis and it stars Elaine Moosey, Frank Grillo, Tony Jaa and Nicolas Cage. And it comes apparently from the same people that brought us Kickboxer Retaliation, like that's supposed to be a good thing. Right. What is this film about? I don't know. Is this is the best answer I can give you? But I'll try and give you an idea of what this film is going for here. It essentially focuses on a group of warriors. Uh, every six years, uh, this portal opens up, and this alien being comes through it and wants to have a scrap with these nine warriors. If it doesn't get this scrap, then everybody's going to die, basically. Um, so it's that time it's that six years it's come through this portal it wants a good scrap with these warriors um, and Nicholas Cage, Tony Jaa, Alain Mussey and Frank Grillo are part of these warriors and that's your story that's that's best basically what I can glean from this film from watching it and boy oh boy did I struggle to get through this film I'd heard this film was bad um, I'd seen a couple of reviews. Uh, I just didn't expect it really to be this bad. I thought, well, I'm sure the story is going to be a bit rubbish, but I'm sure the martial arts will be good. Look at who's in it, for goodness sake. you got Tony Jaa. You know, you've got Frank Grillo, Alain Moussey, who is, you know, he might not be a great actor, but he's a talented martial artist. You've got these great martial artists in this film. And you've got Nicolas Cage to chuck into the mix. There's got to be some uh, fun here somewhere. But genuinely, I really struggled to tell you anything I enjoyed about this film. Really, really struggled. Um, it's just an odd martial arts predator rip-off, really. Um, that it's just, it's just full of these weird scenes that are tied together that make no sense. Um like these weird interrogation scenes where Elaine Moosey's character has lost his memory um, so you get these weird interrogation scenes and you get these weird fight scenes thrown in with these warrior pals breaking him out from this military place with the most inept soldiers known to man because they're getting battered by Tony Jaa and others um, and then ah. Oh, I don't know. I, I'm, I've got to be honest. It's it um, it dulls your brain this film to the point where you don't struggle. It's almost like you know Clockwork Orange. You know when you, his eyes are propped up and he's forced to watch things. That's honestly how this film felt to me by the end. I really struggled with it. Um, there was slight amusement when Nicolas Cage turned up um, because he, he you know he tries his best to inject some personality into the film as he always does. But then he does his action scenes and, you know, it's like watching a 90s TV show, you know, when they you cut the fight scene and it's clearly not the actor, it's a stunt double. And that's what you get with the Nicolas Cage fight scenes. With the close-ups, yeah, it's him. And then everything else that's wide and back with his head, with his back of his head towards the cat, it's not him. And it's clearly not him and it's it's laughably bad. And for f the fight scenes, for these talented martial artists that you have in this film, the fight scenes are so poorly put together. Really badly done. Shaky cam, I mean, shaky cam. Badly edited, slow-mo, constantly. Um, it's just really hard to follow. You've got some of these wonderful martial artists and you 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 put them through this and you, you create fight scenes as poorly as this. I can't think of one that stood out and if I did if it did my my brain had been numbed by that point um the the alien design is interesting but there are many many sequences where you could just see it's a guy in a suit a rubber suit mainly um and I just kept thinking what what's Frank Grillo doing in this film what's he doing in this film this guy is a good actor is still got a name he can still do a lot of decent films how did they convince him to do this I can understand how they got Nicolas Cage to do it because he'll pretty much do anything these days it would seem um, 
I, d I don't understand how they can have this talent in this film and deliver a film so poor that you're constantly scratching your head watching this film thinking okay what's going on I remember I, I, I've wrote it down in front of me here I don't often make notes on movies when I'm doing a review but I did on this I had to because it was so bad 30 minutes in what's going on that's that's my notes and then 44 minutes no idea what's going on and that continues on you know you've no idea what's going on until Nicholas Cage arrives and he is the exposition deliverer of the film uh, <laughs> because the storytelling and the narrative is so badly done they are just scenes that are sewn together that I don't know it's supposed to click some excitement in your brain because these are good action scenes well maybe that works sometimes with some action films if the action scenes are good maybe it will blind you to a weak story um, but I think the action here, scenes here are amongst the worst I've ever seen in an action film really really bad with some fairly poor performances by everybody um, tonally it's odd as well as these weird comic book slides to go from scene to scene like it's some kind of comic book again tonally it doesn't fit it doesn't work um, and it's just a really cheap poor rip off of Predator when you get down to the nitty gritty strip all the crap away it's just a really cheap poor rip off of Predator um, so I've got to be honest this is easily one of the worst films I've seen this year there's not many films that I struggle to get through there's a handful a year that I really struggle to get through and finish this has been one of the hardest films I've had to finish because it, it is such a shame to have this talent in a film like this and to deliver such a poorly constructed film I think is a crime and I'd, I'd, I wouldn't think it would have been possible but they did it so I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10 I really do think it's a poor film uh, so that's my review for Jiu Jitsu I hope you liked it. Thank you very much for watching. I will be back with more content on Screen Stars very, very soon.